Hi, everybody, and welcome to Tournamental, the podcast where we create a bunch of dumb characters and we have them fight each other in some stupid rounds until <laughs> there's just one winner. You guys know the drill. My name is Chris Nash. I'm joined, as always, by my pals Cameron Hart. Hey. Jay Jameson. Hey. And Russell Montgomery. Ho. And today's episode of Tournamental is brought to you by our sponsor, Pataguchi and Sons Auto Tune-Up and Glass Repair. Here's a commercial. Hey, this is Joe Pataguchi from Pataguchi and Sons Auto Tune-Up and Glass Repair. Here at Pataguchi and Sons, we believe that you could auto tune up anything you like. For instance, here's me auto tuning up my father's eulogy. Dad, you were a dreamer. When you thought you could swim across the Atlantic Ocean with no boats and no help, and no training of any kind. Now you're dead, dead, and I know that you'll be swimming for all eternity against the endless futile. Come on down to Pataguchi and Sons Auto Tune Up and auto tune up something of your very own. We also do glass repair. <laughs> Great. So, wow. Uh, I actually like that song yeah. a lot. Man, yeah, I'd buy that if it were on iTunes or something. Well, what? Joe Pataguchi was very close with his father. So, shall we come up with some characters? So, this Cam. was going to be our, our normal tournament, right? Uh, we're not going to be as crazy as we sometimes are. We're just going to put forth some, some very. Uh, normal regular characters that's right i think we're gonna let the uh let the characters get crazy on their own they're gonna mm -hmm. be pretty normal without ridiculous modifiers for this uh special tournament this is so, a weird diatribe to hear from jay <laughs> <laughs> how regular mm -hmm. they're supposed to be yeah i know it's taken me a few days to come to terms with this. what's gonna happen let's <laughs> go uh, okay, I'll start then. Um, so my first question, or first uh, character on the theme of being fairly normal, sauce, average, maybe a little boring, is Kristen Stewart. Mm. She is very okay. normal, sauce, average, and boring. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. in my yeah. personal things. opinion, she's all of those things to a T. Perfect character, camera. <laughs> yes, thank you, thanks. I thought she... she really, I thought she really embodied <laughs> this episode. To follow that trend, I suppose, although maybe in a, a different area of the spectrum, I have chosen the very boring Susan Boyle. Who is that? <laughs> yeah. Who is Susan Boyle? Susan Boyle is the pretty frumpy uh, lady who was on, was it Britain's Got Talent yeah. a few uh, years ago? Yeah. And she happened to have a nice voice, and so now she's on Christmas CDs at Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, she's the remember, uh, peasant remember... turned pop star. Yeah, you remember Paul Potts, the guy, the, like, yeah. the card salesman? She happened like a year after him or like the season later, and she was and everybody the exact forgot same about thing that guy. over again. She, well, that's because yeah. actually, you know, as, as boring and as normal as she uh, appears, she actually went pretty crazy after she got famous. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so there's that. I like could have seen a, that coming, though. Like a Susan Boyle Gone Wild video or something? Well, no, <laughs> no, I don't think there was any, like, like sex tapes or, or, or nipple slips or anything. I think it was mostly uh, just, uh, you know, uh, lashing out at people in public, that kind of crazy. Oh, uh, well, there you go. Jake? What? Oh, it's my turn. Right, I forgot. Um, okay, how about uh, Alex Trebek? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. my favorite. Notable yeah, wow. smart that's... man. Super boring. Yeah, absolutely. Smart. With, <laughs> Super boring. With or without mustache. Oh, yeah. Did he shave that mustache off? He also, mm -hmm. that's yeah. right, he also lost the glasses. I think he got laser eye surgery. We'll go classic. Got the mustache, got the glasses. Cool. Ooh, circa, circa what year? 95? <laughs> uh, 1999. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, 99. Just pre-millennial. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, my first character, I tried to pick one of the bore, most boring characters that I could think of, and I came up with Odie from Garfield. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hate that guy. That <laughs> is boring. <It's> super boring. <laughs> the most boring character from the most boring comic strip. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, moving on. Uh, I, this a character holds a place deep in my heart. I love this gentleman to death, uh, but 
but uh, he's also quite boring. Uh, the late Mr. Rogers will be my next character. Okay. Mm. So for my turn, I just went to Wikipedia and hit random article. <laughs> and the first person that came up, I'm going to apologize because we've never heard of him. His name is Sergei <laughs> Diaghilev. Is oh, a great picture. <laughs> it's a great pi- <laughs> Shut up. You shush. It's a picture of him in a top hat. He died in 1929. <laughs> he was a Russian uh, ballet impresario, uh, which I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, <laughs> an impresario. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he was a, a, the founder of Ballet Russes, which I guess, you know, is the big famous Russian ballet. And uh, I don't know, he's kind of like their grand master. He looks like he's running a circus here. All right, for my next character, I don't know. You know how I'm always trying to get fish in the game? You know, fresh fish, sexy fish. Uh, um, and they never really go very far. So no? this one, for this <laughs> for this particular tournament, I'm going to try a mediocre fish. <laughs> so, uh, no. We'll see how he does. Maybe that's the secret formula. What you kind of fish? Be... What, what kind of fish? I don't know that? kinds of fishes. Come on, man. Hey, <laughs> <What is> man. It? <laughs> it's not like I Wikipedia'd this ahead of time or anything. You know, a mediocre fish. Like he's got like a bass. Bass? I don't know. Bat? Aren't bass really big? Not really. They can no, be. They're pretty average. Okay, size. then he's a bass. Trout. Yeah, a bass. Trout. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay, rainbow trout. Trout, trout, trout are <laughs> yeah, probably the trout. most boring fish. I'd say it's about like trout foot long. Trout are pretty boring. Yeah, okay. Foot long trout. Rainbow With trout eyes and everything. Rainbow. T- <laughs> no way, man. That's not. <laughs> that's too a little Let's too not give that rainbow flavor. Yeah, come on. Yeah, my next character is going to be. Um, I wanted to pick a very average woman. I settled for, quite possibly, the most below average woman that I could have. <laughs> Helen Keller. Oh, yeah. Oof. Okay, Oof. and um, <laughs> so we will each be able to offer one more character because, as I forgot to mention at the, the top of the show, we've also put ourselves into this tournament, and so those will be the, the four characters we'll have to round out this episode. As the most unremarkable people we can think of, we We're chose We're going ourselves. to inception ourselves into the Matrix of Tournament. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, in order to uh, round off this cast of very white bread people, a loaf of white bread. Huh. <laughs> Wonder bread? Uh, no, that's too entertaining. It's uh, like um, like President's Choice brand <laughs> bread, like just the sure. regular, like yeah. it kind of it just says bread on the side. That's the whole thing. <laughs> okay, now this person was very boring. She might have turned interesting, so let me know if she's no good. I have chosen uh, Jody Sweeten. Who played what? Stephanie Tanner in Full oh, House? Oh man! Oh, I think she, I think she got addicted to crack or bath salts oh, or no. something. Oh no! Okay. It, yeah, it was meth, and then she got clean. So <laughs> wait, sorry, she played DJ or Stephanie? Stephanie, Stephanie. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. funny because <laughs> is she too exciting or uh, no? Or that's fine. That's right, fine. Right. Actually, one of my characters uh, who I crossed off the list was going to be Danny Tanner, the father on that show. <laughs> so this next one, ah, it's probably going to get vetoed because I don't know. This, this, this particular <laughs> tournament just, is I'm a ready, little I'm ready to veto it. against my nature. I just, I like the crazy characters. So this one might be kind of a bit, you know, far out for the particular tournament that we're playing. His name is Dr. Porkenstein. <laughs> mad, no, no, mad no, 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 pig. no, 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 very creepy likes to clean things in other people's homes for some reason <laughs> yeah too bald. You, don't, you don't sound too happy about it <laughs> no because i wanted dr porkenstein well so i do feel like dr porkenstein will come back at some point he's gonna that. show up soon mark my words all right i was i was gonna use monica Lewinsky, but then i thought of uh toad from mario and i like that better so toad oh, okay <laughs> oh yeah sure the little yeah. mushroom very head. magical okay, world never and known. the worst character in it is that is, yeah is that his head or is that like a hat that he's wearing that it, it's like a turban thing. i guess but it, <laughs> a it's, turban? it's okay, part so it's some 
connection to a, like some religious vows he's taken. Yeah, but I yeah. feel like it's probably encasing his brain. It must. <laughs> so there's no scalp or skull under there. I thought <laughs> they, they were just actually like a mushroom. I thought they were just like a seeing, talking mushroom. Yeah, more or less, I think so. I don't <sighs> work for Nintendo, but okay. Toad's got a new game coming out, apparently. The worst idea. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think I would rather play a game as just like a Goomba, the mushroom that can only walk sideways at a certain pace and then falls into pits. I think I'd rather play yeah. that than a Toad game. Okay, so we've got our characters and then Cam, Nash, Jay, and Russ. Yes, correct. Yeah, let's come up with some questions. Okay, uh, I'll start. Uh, let's go, who would win uh, in a fight in a dark room? So the room is pitch black. It's quite a small, cramped room. Um, sort of say the size of a bathroom or something, but there's no light and they have to uh, kill the other person. Ooh. Is there anything in the room or is it just an empty room, like just a squash empty, court? Just empty, okay. bland, bland, empty room. <laughs> Are they the naked? Room. Well, no. <laughs> they start that way. <laughs> it's a fight, Russ. <laughs> I, th- I think they should be naked when it's just literally bare bones. Everybody, like, no <laughs> weapons, <laughs> you know. I, no, see. No. I see where you're coming from. Yeah, right, naked. <laughs> okay. Uh, who would advance further in the TV show Wipeout? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Great. I've always wanted to uh, be a contestant on that show, but I knew that I would wipe out almost immediately. <laughs> Probably. Just... I would yeah. love to watch you be a contestant on that yeah. show. I'd like, to, if I'd like to find out what sound effect they would have for me wiping out, you know? <laughs> Long... I have seen you wipe <laughs> out, like, on a flat sidewalk, just like a regular... <laughs> normal yeah uh, plane <laughs> i i wipe out uh, pretty regularly going up and down the stairs here at the house <laughs> like on a two regular basis and those are stairs i take every day to my room um okay so my character is one that i pitched a few uh, a couple episodes what are you talking ago. about what We're oh looking for questions question that's what i meant <laughs> yeah is that a, yeah question my oh, question God. is one that i pitched a few episodes ago but it got uh, didn't get there for whatever reason um, oh, because we had a similar question. That's right. And this one is, who would you rather have homeschooling your children? All right, okay. Russ. My question is, uh, who would you rather kill and then eat? That's oh, that's, that's grim. That's pretty sadistic, man. You came oh. up with it, man. No. Don't try and... <laughs> <laughs> I did not. The tournamental curtain has been <laughs> torn asunder. Okay. So the first question will be, who would win in a fight, a naked fight to the death in a dark room, uh, Susan Boyle or Toad from Mario? They're so not Toad... too dissimilar, <laughs> I think. Can Toad, he, can he do things that humans cannot do, or is He's, he just He can bad? jump probably yeah, like very... three times his height, right? He's very quick, yeah. Now, so, okay, this might be a bit existential or something but if he jumped onto susan boyle's head would she like shrink in size like characters do in the mario world <laughs> i think she would shrink her neck so. yeah i think it would hurt <laughs> her, neck break her neck okay but now think, she's got that great voice big. going for her well if we if we look at mario and use him as sort of the uh size oh reference. yeah so he's like a full-grown man yeah toad's about half his height i guess he's essentially just like a 50 pound mushroom i don't know that he's got a whole lot of assets as far as fighting people to the death i feel like even susan boyle could just pummel him to death he kills like dinosaurs and stuff man <laughs> yeah there Although... are very specific rules under which he's able to kill those dinosaurs though that's I. true because they have very head. particular weaknesses everybody <laughs> in that world if you jump on their head he's, they... he's pretty much naked all the time anyway i mean he wears a <laughs> diaper and a vest that, so he's in his element. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I, I wonder what's under that diaper. It might be something really horrid. <laughs> so now, it's pitch black too. I don't think Nintendo wants us to go there. Well, none <laughs> of the other mushrooms in the kingdom wear diapers, so there must be something. Maybe he just has really bad diarrhea. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's possible. Maybe oh he's eating the wrong Lord. mushrooms. Um, uh. Now. I kind of want to modify already. Already? No, <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm pretty so. firmly Susan Boyle here. Yeah? Have you ever you? torn okay. a mushroom apart with your hands? Because it's easy. I've done it. I've done it lots. When you're like tearing oh. the stems off mushrooms and stuff, they come right apart. There there are some kinds of mushrooms that are very, very hard to tear apart. They're almost <laughs> like wood. Like shelf mushrooms that grow on trees. 
they can get really hard. Like you need a saw to cut some of those. Yeah, I mean I the characters from Fern and Gully, Gully were just hopping right on them, and it wasn't even doing a thing. I'm pretty Fern sure Gully. He, he, looks, has... he looks squishy. I, I, if I can guess from his cartoon animation, he looks like a pretty squishy muscle. But I think he bounces off things quite easily. Like I think if she punched him, he'd just fall down and bounce up again. He's like mm. one of those giant clown punching bag things. But sometimes if people touch him, he dies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Is yeah. that usually if the other person, if your character <laughs> touches a bad guy, just touches them, they die. <laughs> like, that's a pretty big nail in the coffin. And so I if Susan like Boyle if, touches if, him? Uh, yeah, if one character, one of the two was going to be less or, or more okay with the nakedness of the other character... Susan Boyle, for whatever reason, seems to me like she'd be okay with Toad's nakedness. I don't know that Toad would love that she was naked. <laughs> he seems to have some pretty delicate sensibilities. Yeah, well, you know, maybe, maybe I'll don't... vote for Susan. I'm going. Susan. I'm going for Toad, man. Uh, no, I'm I'm on the fence, but I'm leaning Susan. Russ, is there anything that you can say to sway? Susan Boyle looks like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but but I just, Toad is a mushroom. Very true. I just don't think Susan Boyle has any strength whatsoever. Yeah, she looks she, like she, she, she spent can, most her time maybe... in a basement. So yeah, I guess well, Toad's move would be to try to jump up high and land on her neck and break it, and in a pitch black room that might not be possible for her to do or for him to do but what's she gonna do though i think once she finds out where he is so if he tries to make the first attack she either touches him which kills him i don't know if that's the case or she can maybe get him in uh, one of those uh, boil bear hugs <laughs> yeah uh, you know what she's saying so much you know? about yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think he's far I... too quick for for her to even catch him Especially in the dark. I don't know why. This is just a hunch, but I have a feeling that she's really good at thrashing. I feel like <laughs> yeah. she, she, she would like excel at thrashing, thrashing about yeah. in the dark. And your I instincts, <laughs> your instincts are terrible, Jay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, only she knows whether or not she's good at thrashing about in the dark. So we maybe we could send her a letter. Nash, mail. this is in your hands right now, man. I'm Boyle. Okay, who would win in a naked uh, fight in uh, the dark? Russ. Or Mr. Rogers. Oh, no. Oh, no, Russ. <laughs> Why are you going to do that awful thing? It's going to be a bloodbath. Why are you? Know. So since we are all here, maybe we could describe the way in which, if we think we would win, mm. we would kill the other person. Yeah, you probably don't want to... It's probably better that it's happening in the dark. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We don't want to know. But, Russ, what are your personal feelings toward Mr. Rogers? I have, I have no hatred towards him. I mean, I never really watched Mr. Rogers when I was a kid. I was more of a Mr. Dress-Up kind of guy, um, as probably most Canadians were. Fred Penner as well for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about Fred Penner. Yeah, Fred Penner. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know a lot about Mr. Rogers. I'm wondering, did he study Ninpo Ninjutsu like you did? No, or... I don't believe he did. <laughs> okay, no. so uh, the advantage might be in your court. He, yeah. he was really good at changing his sweater. That was the only thing I remember, <laughs> remember that he had any skill in. Okay, yeah. next round. So we have... Uh, Serge, or as he's is, uh, is known, Sergei Diaghilev, the Russian ballet master, versus uh, Jody Sweeten. Pre or <laughs> post meth? Edition. Does it really matter? It, it <laughs> might matter a lot. Yeah. This guy is a ballet dancer. He's, uh, I don't know, I assume he's very fit, very no, muscularly he's not. toned. You ever seen those guys? Didn't you see yeah. the picture? He was just an impresario. The guy's like the ringleader. I don't know yeah, what he is. seems he seems more like the ringleader. I don't want to give the impression that he is fit in any way, shape, or form. He looks like one of those old-timey strong men. He looks like just a very big, burly mm. kind of man. He looks kind of like the Monopoly man. Yeah, Maybe yeah, it's just the sure. top hat. Anyway, yeah, I, I think if you're listening at home, you just Google this guy. His name is Targov Malingivich. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't know what no. his name is. <laughs> anyway, I think he wins. Is it Tardoff yeah, Malingivich? So. Yeah, I don't feel like Stephanie, pre post uh, meth addiction, would have the physical determination or grit to kill so, a man. So, a fight in the dark naked, it's going to just be a fight, right? Uh. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about this guy. I hope it's just a fight. I hope that it doesn't involve anything else. Pretty yeah, harsh. I think, I think he's going to win. <laughs> I think... No, I didn't mean to make things uncomfortable with my leading question. <laughs> you can't I'm take it back now. None of us were uh, <laughs> willing to go there and say what you meant. I'll but... never do that again. So I've written his name down. Do we just agree he wins? <laughs> I yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ooh, I like this next one. 
Uh, Nash versus Helen Keller. Oh. <laughs> well, now, she has had some experience in the dark. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But she also that can't being hear. Said, yeah, that being said, uh, Nash may have found the easiest opponent possible. <laughs> I don't know if being naked factors into this in any way. Nash, what do you think? Uh, Where is this room? Is it and what month is it? (laughs) Is is the room air conditioned? Uh, June. I would say it's just kind of like uh, you know a room if you were to enter it right now. Yeah, I'm worried about either being too cold or too sweaty and hot to perform the tasks needed of me. Do I don't know if you can be too sweaty for this. I think. Yeah, I, I think. That, I don't think you can be too sweaty or no sweat. Either. You're gonna I'm be pretty okay. Pretty sure. Pretty sure Helen Keller's done. How are you gonna do it? Since the World Cup has begun, I've been playing more soccer than ever. I think what I would do is I'd fold her up in a little ball and place her in the corner of the room. And I would put my hand up, wait for the whistle, and I would take a mighty kick. <laughs> you think that would just put an end to her? I do think so, yes. Maybe I don't know if that was cartoonier and <laughs> <laughs> than, than I should uh, have expected, or if that was more gruesome. I don't know. I'm going to allow myself to imagine the former. Yeah, I mean, it's really up to your mental predisposition, audience. Yeah. I thought it was very cute and comical. <laughs> so, Alex Trebek... Or mediocre fish. Uh, hmm. <laughs> fish is dead before it gets in the room. <laughs> yeah, all he has to do is leave that fish alone for what, like three minutes? <laughs> yeah. Just kind of, he could he could sit there, you know, I don't know, whistle a tune and he'd win. Yep. <laughs> okay. These fish. But that'd be such an unpleasant experience for him, even. Just... These fish. I gotta find the formula. Formula. I mean, the formula fish. is less. Hey, fish. formula that's fish. The... He could be like a Formula One driver. Okay, that one's co- that's coming back. All right, that's coming back, formula you guys. Formula One fish. You need to read up on what fish you're using because I don't think a trout's gonna make it too far. Maybe like a swordfish. Yeah. yeah. That would have been really tough in a in a room like this. It still dies pretty too, instantly. Probably too exciting for this episode. If, uh, if that it's... fish lost in record time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Continuing on with the question, who would win in a fight in a dark room, naked, Jay or Mister Clean? Oh, <laughs> really? oh no. I can't Can emphasize that enough one. how little I want to be naked in a room with that guy. <laughs> all he wants to do. All he wants to do is clean whatever is around. I know. Yeah. I Mr. really clean. hope I enter that room clean. <laughs> he always Mr. sort of struck me Cause... as having some sort of obsessive cleaning disorder, probably associated with <laughs> guilt from some murder. Yeah, that he I know. Really, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, he doesn't. He also looks like a convict. Probably would at sixty-five yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You, I think you're gonna. Jay, I don't, I don't like your chances here, man. He's if all he strong. does is clean all day, why is he so strong? He's so <laughs> He's muscular, very brawny, right? yeah. 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 He's like lifting up couches and uh, bureaus and things like that, you know? <laughs> That's true. I think... I think he's literally going to mop the floor with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, here's the thing, though. Would he maybe be too obsessed about, about cleaning... He won't be able to see, though. Yeah, that's true. He won't the know only if it's thing that's going to be making a mess in that room uh. is you. <laughs> it's a completely empty room other than but you. But maybe that's the thing. He doesn't. He hates making a mess so bad that he wouldn't want to spill any of my blood. No, I think, I think there will be just here, no man. sign of a murder. No sign of a murder whatsoever <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> he oh, somehow man. managed to clean up the room without exiting it. I don't know how he would do it, but he'd figure it out. When don't they turn they, the lights uh... on after... <laughs> <laughs> just some, be a sparkle. Like, agencies call assassins cleaners, you know, like yeah. send in the yeah. cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what he used to be. And then yeah. <laughs> they... he transitioned into the household cleaning product game. Yeah. yeah. They don't call assassins Jays. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Stewart Stewart should play him. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean to play him? In, in what? The... I don't know. <laughs> Like Who's Broadway, a movie about <laughs> Mr. Mr. Clean, Clean life, on live or... action Mr. Clean movie, <laughs> or maybe a movie or uh, Odie versus Cam. Oh. How about oh. it, Cam? You want to strangle he... a dog? <laughs> well, Garfield does got a pretty good long neck. He gets str- he gets strangled like once a week. This dog. Yeah, Garfield's yeah, really abusive. Undergoes a lot of physical abuse. Like yeah, <laughs> like a lot. Looks like he's pretty tough to kill. I'd figure it out. I don't think. That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd get to the bottom of that pretty quickly. I think. Yeah, his tongue he... is long enough that I could just pull a Garfield and pull it out and tie it around his neck and then just leave him, 
Leave him there to strangle. Yeah, his brain doesn't work, right? No, he's no. brain damaged for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's yes. definitely so brain damaged. The world just heard me describe how I would kill a brain dead dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and our final matchup of this round. A loaf of white bread versus Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I don't almost, man. almost a carbon copy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other opponent and she would have lost. Like just about anybody yeah. else on the list. How's she gonna mm. beat that bread? I don't think she's eating anything. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> probably a gluten free type. Yeah. I guess well, if it you... if her life depended on it, she could eat a loaf of bread. Yeah, or in, alone it out. in a room. <laughs> so you don't think the bread could win is there any circumstance well, <laughs> imaginable might, to you she guys might just take a real big bite of white bread and then choke to death <laughs> that would be the only the only way i think that is true yeah. or if they both just left each other alone and then she died and the bread hadn't gone completely moldy yet <laughs> maybe but yeah so she wins yeah 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 I mean, don't be so sad about it. Maybe she's a great contender and we don't even know. Maybe. Our next question, who would advance further in the show Wipeout? Uh, so everyone's seen Wipeout, yeah? It's the show where people, it's oh, yeah. a game show and they have to hop on a bunch of slippery stuff until they wipe out. <laughs> yeah, Man, that's pretty... The, the, the people, the producers of Wipeout must have really just ironclad uh, release forms that these people need to sign because because oh. everybody comes out of that show... I'm sure with some kind of long-term yeah, spine very, damage. Very injured, yeah. Oh like, they God. just yeah. must have the biggest, highest-priced lawyers <laughs> that money can buy. Everything is next, you know? Next Ever, I backs. know. people are. It's foam and stuff like that, but people are landing really hard with all of their body weight on their <laughs> neck. Pretty much, pretty much the entire show. <laughs> now, is that is that the yeah. one that... That that's different from most extreme elimination challenge. Yeah, What's yeah, that? very yeah. similar. Yeah, yeah Wipeout is more American like water. Version. It's like water, water based and stuff, right? Or is Extreme Challenge also water based? Yeah, they have a they lot of water in there. Yeah, yeah, you could think of them on par. Right. So yeah, just imagine Susan Boyle doing that. <laughs> See how far she would get <laughs> versus my old pal Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, I, I I don't know. I've never seen you, you know, try any feats of dexterity or anything like that. But I feel like she could hurt herself just uh, like in a, <laughs> any situation. She's very capable. Of really, I feel like she would things. slip off of the platform, <laughs> just tumble into the water. I'm very so, agile. Yeah, Russell is very agile. I can speak to that. But mm. now I've never. I don't think I've ever gone swimming with you. How, how are you at swimming? I'm not bad. Average. Because a big part of Wipeout, if you haven't seen it, is that if you fall off the platform, your round is still going. You just have to swim back to the platform and start again. And Susan Boyle herself is a life raft. And so she may be able <laughs> to just, you know... <laughs> well, well I don't know. Wait, how is she telling like, herself with her lips like that by moving... <laughs> Putting yeah, it in the water. She's, she's a singer. It's just like vibrato oh, yeah. she or put whatever. Her what, face underwater. That is uh, not what vibrato but is. As, <laughs> as Russ pointed out, though, she her resemblance to a potato is somewhat uncanny. So I don't I know. Like... <laughs> she's landed in the water, the boiled can, potato or whatever. Can I explain how I think the program would go down if she were on it? Yes, I'd love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, please. Whistle starts. You know, the clock starts. She slips immediately, falls into the water, face down for 10 seconds, technical difficulties. Comes <laughs> so you mean she didn't even she didn't even get to like the first obstacle just like on the starting platform she just fell down on that. Yeah, yeah they wouldn't air that episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, guys. Not too far. Okay. All right, okay. next question. In actually a pretty similar round, we have uh, Sergey Diagonev uh, versus me, Nash. Yeah, you think it's that similar? Well, if he's not a, a ballet master himself, if he's the, the big man we're talking about, then I think it. Well, <laughs> I'll give him better odds than Susan Boyle, for sure. <laughs> but <clears throat> he doesn't seem agile or nimble, is, is my point. Although I have been getting fatter than ever myself. So. <laughs> I, I thought it was your uh, your New Year's resolution to get the most fit this year. Yo, I most remember you... jacked. <laughs> most jacked, okay. And, how, and how's that been going? Obviously not too good. I gained four. Four what? Gained four pounds. Kilograms? <laughs> I gained four pounds. So this summer, it's not going to be great. 
but come winter time, you know, my New Year's full circle shredded mm. like my old pal Susan Boyle. <laughs> so now Serge I kind of feel like this me. guy. When when did he die? Uh, he lived from 1872 to 1929. <laughs> I feel like if he were transported to the present and he were in this crazy futuristic obstacle course. <laughs> <and> some... <laughs> Some guy was shouting, okay, now go. I think he would be so <laughs> bewildered. <laughs> yeah. He was very out of his element. He'd have his top hat on and his cummerbund and all this stuff. Yeah. Was... <laughs> you don't think a man from uh, 19th century Russia would be well <laughs> equipped to uh, to deal with a wipeout? Yeah, very much like Susan Boyle, he does resemble a potato. Yeah, he's not the strong man that you described. Oh, he's not the strong man I described? No, he looks like a potato. <laughs> Potatoes can be very strong. I mean, okay, that's a, that's a bad example. <laughs> potatoes themselves cannot be strong. <laughs> Big men shaped as potatoes could be strong. He doesn't look strong. Okay, all right, so he's not strong. Sorry, Alex. Sergio Bergluvich. That was it, right? Sergio Bergluvich. All right, so I'm going to just start a little tally on the side of races that Jay has been uh, offending we've got mexicans and what? we're adding well from your earlier episode of that uh, tyrannosaurus Mex- well, oh, oh yeah that was racist for sure, sure. <laughs> no, but i don't know what's going on right now well this russian man who you I just added to think just to have his last any, name? any sort of jumble of letters sir, uh, to be a name sir, sir it's sergio Tur- Targaryen. Sergio I don't is know not a Russian it's name not at Sir, all. It's definitely uh, not Sergio Targaryen. I know that. Uh, Sergio Targaryevich. Sure. <laughs> I know it ends in Vich. Oh, they all do. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'm done saying things. Isn't it because you take, like, your father's first name and you add Vich and then that's your middle name or something? Can Keep we please going, move man. on to the next round? Keep going. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Russians, please write in if you are offended. Alex Trebek versus Mr. Clean. He's not slipping on any water, right? This Mr. Clean? What do you think well, he walks on water? I don't think he about? walks on water, but I think he knows his way around yeah. water and slippery surfaces. I guess, but he's squeaky clean. Wouldn't and he's yeah. hairless. <laughs> it seems like he yeah, doesn't have enough like friction. He's... He'd slide off of things. Oh, maybe. I feel like I imagine him when he's cleaning the stuff they don't show on commercials, he takes off all of his clothes. Why is he getting naked? I just imagine it because sometimes when I clean my own bathtub, I will get into the bathtub naked oh, no. and and clean it so that the water is washing out all the dirty stuff. And then I just shower after and then everything's clean, including myself. And I can get out because cleaning bathtubs is a dirty job. If you're wearing you don't clothes, have to that tell clothes Mr. has clean. Yeah, he knows. He knows. The That's why it doesn't have hair. I don't know. Like he, he cleans entire kitchens and stuff in a pristine white outfit and never gets a lick of it on him. I I think I think he's pretty good. Like Nash said, at handling himself around water and stuff. Also, he's quite strong looking. Alex Trebek. Let's change to him for a second. Doesn't mm. remind me of a guy that would do well at Wipeout. I can't imagine him ever wearing shorts. I feel like they would ask him to wear shorts, and he would refuse, and then he'd be disqualified. <laughs> that would that would be the end of it. Not not his game show. Pretty much any other game show, he'd do great at. What I think it what I think it boils down to here is Alex Trebek has not been known for doing anything physical, as far as we can tell. Mr. Clean, though, seems to be at least partially physical in his day-to-day tasks. And the yeah. guy's cut. Water. Yeah. The yeah, guy, he's Nash. He's, the guy he's looks Nash like Nash the later this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this, the before is going to be Susan Boyle, and the after is going to be Mr. Clean. For me. <laughs> and the final question of this round, the final matchup, a, uh, Sir Cam versus Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I don't I I wouldn't call myself someone who would be very naturally good at wipeout, although I would love love to do it. Um Kristen Stewart seems like she would be 100% incapable of wipeout. I think that she would be very very <laughs> Now, bad. I watched all of the Twilight movies. Whoa. Well, I didn't okay, enjoy let's any not of just them. Gloss but over no, that well, fact. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I've seen them all. I, okay, how have you guys seen them all? No, man. I was Yeah, I was about to say I have not seen one of the Twilight movies. Okay. Movies. I know Nash has seen them all. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I think we watched them together for some reason. I don't know percent. why. Yeah, okay. But I know why. I recall from those movies <laughs> <laughs> I recall from those movies that in all there's four movies. Yeah, I think no. four movies. There are more. Uh, she didn't do 
anything. She never did a single thing. And she was just kind of fought over. She sat in a chair for several months. I don't know. She didn't do anything. <laughs> that she, was it. She, so this is not Kristen Stewart vampire, right? No, this no. This is Kristen, Kristen Stewart, Stewart pale human. Cam, how if you were to stand on one of those yoga balls, how long do you think before you would fall? I, like like a, just a regular normal yoga ball? Yeah. Oh, while well, if I have anything, I have balance. I don't... I'm not like fast or can't jump high, but I can balance pretty darn good. Okay. Yeah. I vote Cameron. All right, there we go. See yoga balls. That's my skills finally come. <laughs> come Remember when Thank you God. used to hyper hug me? Wait, what? No. We would oh, hyper yeah. hug each other. You'd run and you'd jump. On. I think you and I invented that together, Cam. You run and you jump on the yoga ball and you fly across the other room. Oh, the other yeah. It's your yeah, a really that. dangerous but rapid embrace. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that wasn't was homoerotic at yeah, all. So yeah, so you, you've got some experience on those crazy inflatable balls. Yep. Um, now, however, here's my only just, I don't know. Whoa, well, here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing. Now, she is probably virtually weightless, you know, as far as humans <laughs> go. And you're, you know, you're a solid guy. That's all like, the word for it. Yeah, I've, there's a word I've, that's word. Yeah, I've wrestled around with you quite a bit. You can, yeah, you're solid, right? Yeah. I feel like the, maybe... The heavier you're, you are, the more you'd slip or something like that, the more momentum you'd have no, on man. those wet surfaces. <laughs> no. <laughs> she uh, she can't I, – I would be surprised if she could do a single chin-up. She seems like uh, a good gust of wind would knock her over, let alone the jets <laughs> of water that sometimes, sometimes comes streaming across oh, the Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, I'm so confident in myself in this one. I would stake my life on that, actually, like you did last time on your stupid, stupid, stupid B. <laughs> if, wait, did that B win? Uh, I'm pretty sure that B is it, won. Is it safe to say that if Kristen Stewart is listening right now, that you are calling her out? Yeah, I am a, throwing, challenge? throwing the, the, uh, the gloves down. I'm calling her out. Kristen Stewart, you and me, wipe out. We'll have a competition. If to I the lose, death? Uh, <laughs> what? If, if I lose, I'll... Um, yeah, I guess I'll end my yep, life. Yep, perfect. So, <clears throat> we're down to our final four characters. Jay, if you hadn't been up against Mr. Clean, you would be in these four characters like the rest of us are. Man! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else got through! Yeah. Every, yeah, it's, oh. the, new, the new podcast is going to be Nash, Russ, Cam, and Mr. Clean, I'm afraid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man! You're out. Yeah, Does that mean you have to hear that annoying jingle at the beginning of every episode? We don't have the money for that. <laughs> okay. Actually, we might have found sponsorship money in Mr. Clean. Who knows? And if Mate. they were offering it, I might sacrifice Jane. To get to yeah, I would too if I were you guys. Well, it's been, it's been a heck of a ride. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Well, actually, given the question that you're on, you probably don't want to be a part of it. So... It is, who would you rather kill and then eat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Russ, Russ versus Nash. Wow. Let's, uh, let's sit back, Russ, for a second or two and kind of just let these guys figure things out. All right, oh, here we man. go. Uh, Russ, um, how, how often do you like, go to the gym or working out or whatever? How often are you doing that? Recently, not much. I ride my bike. I do a lot of yard work, though, which keeps me fit. Okay. Like heavy duty yard work, digging and stuff like that. And, Are you, you know. like Nash, as big as you've ever been, or is it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it a bit different? No, I probably about thirty pounds. No, probably about forty pounds less than I was at my biggest. Okay. But probably about twenty pounds heavier than I was at my smallest as a grown adult okay so the thing that i'm trying to establish here is that it seems like nash's um you know meat would be a little t more tender um <laughs> because he's the apparently the biggest he's ever been although i haven't uh, seen these results uh so maybe i'd be going nash a little bit nicer um flank what about what about <laughs> our diets though do our diets factor into it at all well i'm pretty sure nash's insides are already pre like salt cured that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like beef jerky in there yeah if you want to eat a man who's going to taste exactly like a quarter chicken uh, I'm, I'm your so, guy so that also uh, puts me uh, towards yeah in that way. nash i uh, correct me if i'm wrong but you only eat meat and fruit you're like a bear yeah. right that is, that is <laughs> okay correct. you have the diet of a bear 
<laughs> and then it's sometimes, nice. like a bear, you find some garbage and eat that too. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you eat a lot of garbage. <laughs> Stuff like you out of the parking me, lot. Uh, you've also seen me hibernate quite a bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have a regular sleep pattern. Um, now, for me, I'm thinking about the killing. I don't understand. Do is that part of the question? Like, do we have to try to kill this person? Is this person resisting yeah, us? Or no, is it... there's no, like, resistance. Let's say that you're oh, going to okay. sneak up on them Because I've fought Nash an awful lot, and I don't enjoy it. I've tried to choke <laughs> the life out of him several times, <laughs> and I've never succeeded. And so yeah. I feel like that would be a difficult task. I've never tried to kill Russ before. Um, I mean, this, this is going to darken this question up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a way that I'm going to change it. So, uh... You have to kind of like old yeller them, you know, like where you oh. like tearily uh, put them down <laughs> in like a teary moment, and then well, and they know. Still, we... I I think I've crossed the threshold before. <laughs> Nash and I've been friends for a long time, but I think I've crossed that threshold where I'm like, okay, I'm going to end his life now. Yeah, <laughs> I, think I don't I should, think there's... I haven't I haven't quite followed through with it. I don't think Jay would have any <laughs> tears in his eyes. <laughs> Yeah, but, that's the, that's the only Russ. reason I'm going Nash. I think that Nash would be tastier. I think for me, it's it's not so much about tasting because I'm not going to enjoy eating a human regardless of what they taste well, but like. but if you could enjoy it, you could. I you probably I should. I barely eat any meat as it is. Shame! Shame! <laughs> Shut <laughs> your <laughs> fucking <Sweet> mouth. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Shaming What's your is diet? for, uh, for characters, say... not for uh, lifestyle choices, Nash. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for the last year or so, I was completely vegetarian, but recently I've started eating like chicken and fish again, but still mostly vegetarian. I don't want to say that makes you sound, seem more like a cow, but <laughs> cows but are pretty does. vegetarian. You, you guys are both... Okay, let me ask. Nash and Russ, are you guys both voting for the other person, or are you voting for yourselves? Who would you rather eat, yourself or another person? That's an eerie question. No, what I was getting at is that I don't... The the eating part doesn't really factor into it for me. It's more so, like, who am I going to be okay with Yeah, ending their life? And I, I don't think I would be okay with ending Nash's life. I think I'd rather... How, like how do I eat myself though after I've killed myself? <laughs> well, there there are two of you. <laughs> yeah, oh, there two would, of there, me. Be like your clone. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a redundancy there. You might as well, you yeah, know, fix that. I mm -hmm. have no problem killing any of you. For one thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you do that. You I was that thinking down. the other side of the coin. I was thinking the the eating sort of thing. Who would I rather eat? And I think like Cam is saying, yeah, most of the animals I eat, uh, you know the. My what I enjoy about them is based on the food that they eat, and I don't know. I think I'd be tastier. Hairier though is <laughs> wait. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you're covered you eat in chicken. hair. I'd be like picking eat... them out of my teeth and well, stuff. Uh, I mean, the cows are covered in fur, right? You don't yeah. you don't eat the skin part. You just cut the good stuff out. And hair burns pretty quickly if you cook one of us. Yeah, it'll be just good. Come right off. It'll We're be both good. pretty hairy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Nash, you're saying that. You would rather eat an animal that I don't get it because yeah because you eat you eat a lot of beef and a lot of chicken and those are both vegetarians. But uh, so, the ve the vegetarian things I would eat like vegetables and things like that. They eat uh, what do they eat like sunlight sunlight and sun uh, and water. That's not too water. bad actually. That sounds pretty good. Nitrogen phosphorus. I feel like I I would probably taste like a bit like a like a pork chop i would think and I it don't... seems i i if we're if we're taking it in like the character that we are and putting them into a meal you don't think i'd be like a ham like I'm, no no i'm yeah. thinking of it more a little bit more scientifically than that i think you would taste disgusting well yeah in that humans would taste disgusting <laughs> i'm not using a lot of science and in the in the caricatures here of me being a, a ham I feel like you would be like a, like a salmon wrapped in birch bark, uh, <laughs> like a like a weird sushi type. I don't know if I'm buying into your your take on uh, what it would be like. I don't feel like that's a different kind of question. <laughs> Maybe I'm too dumb for this question. <laughs> okay, uh, I've come to a conclusion. Yeah, I know who I'm voting for. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it then. Nash, I'm not going to vote for you because. You, my friend, are 
very dense. I've talked about this with other people. You are just so thick. Like, there's, you're, I mean, Cam, like I said, is solid, but you're just like, I don't know. Like, you'd be tough meat. I know that. Absolutely. <laughs> and if I'm going to eat one of my friends, I don't want to have to spend any more time doing it than I already need to. So I think I'm going to eat Russ. Uh, mm, I'm, thanks, I'm man. Going, I'm going uh, <laughs> Sorry. Nash on this one. Russ, who are you voting? I'm voting me. All right, I'll vote me. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're tied. Okay, let's modify now. Let's modify. Okay, yeah. so just to make sure that it's fair and impartial, somebody give me like a number from 1 to 100, and that's the modifier 37. from the database. Okay, 37 is... Oh, who's this for, first of all? You. For you. you. Big, big footified. Okay. <laughs> so that's not great. No, no, that's not great. And Russell is quasi-modo-ified. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Is that just the next one on the list? Yeah, I just went straight oh, down. Oh, man. Wow, yeah. I don't think either of those were a real, yeah. real benefit. Who wants to eat that humpback? I think Bigfoot is just closer to a, an animal from the forest. Now, so do you just become... Bigfoot when you're Bigfootified, or do you have the Bigfoot body of Bigfoot? Not like do you like if if you become Bigfoot, like a Nash version of Bigfoot, do you still have your own personality and stuff? Yeah, I would think so. So that changes very little for me then. Let's modify yeah. again. Nash is Bigfootified and can summon Justin Bieber to help. Oh. <laughs> oh. And Russell is Quasimodoified and was once imprisoned for S and M torture. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. See, you guys, if you keep on adding the modifiers, it's gonna get worse and worse. Well, that makes me want to kill myself more. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like if there's someone that uh, deserves to go in this situation, the guy who was performing a lot of S and M torture would be the one. Also, I would be really afraid that when I was trying to murder or eat Nash, he would summon Justin Biebs, and I'd have to deal with that kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to deal That's with That's the kid. worst thing. Yeah. Ah, but I don't want to get all those diseases from eating Russ. Oh, you cook them out of them, man. You cook them. <laughs> you can yeah. cook diseases out. Yeah, man. yeah true. you can cook anything that you're going to catch. You totally can. Really? Um, even if they have... Okay. Um... I was about to switch until you said that. <laughs> like, I hadn't thought of anything disease-wise. I was just thinking, yeah, the S&M torture is terrible. Let's kill this character. But is there going to be disgusting stuff to eat? Why, why would there be, though? Why would there be disease? He's just a torturer. Well, I mean, yes. there there could be things, say, uh, like impl <laughs> implanted <laughs> within you. I don't know how it like goes. Metal studs <laughs> or something? Yes, things of those <laughs> that nature. Well, you would use like a, a metal that's non-toxic. For something like that, like titanium <laughs> yeah. or stainless steel. You know too much. <laughs> I've lost sight of a lot of what's happening. <laughs> okay. I, I'm sticking with my vote, Russ. Yeah, I'm voting Russ. I am switching too. Unanimous. Congratulations, Russ. Sorry, Nash. You yes. did it. You were the more delicious man. <laughs> Same question. Who would you rather kill and then eat, Mr. Clean or Cam? Now, Cam, what's your activity level like? You look... Tasty. <laughs> uh, irregular at best. Um, yeah, no, I would say that I would definitely be a squishier treat than um, than Mr. Clean. But then again, that guy's jacked, so I don't hold that against myself. He looks mm. very tough. He looks yeah. very tough to eat. He would be Does... more person to eat as well. But w it, would he be tough? Like, is uh, apparently horses are delicious. Is that... <laughs> Right? <laughs> where, where, what friends do you have? Where are you yeah. hearing this from? Yeah, I got I got some friends. I know some people, and I've heard that horse is uh, quite the delicacy. Mister Clean seems like a human horse to me. Yeah, if you yeah? had to give a horse a human form, it would probably be Mister Clean. <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> okay, I think that I goes. Like I don't think I understand like that at all. Like, but like a bunch of detergents and stuff, you know? Like uh, I feel like yeah. that would be all over his. He'd have that chlorine type type of yeah. taste to him now here's a question is he a man or is he a cartoon and if he's a cartoon Jake. what am i eating <laughs> you don't get to eat a cartoon which i know you, not? you'd really like to do kim how how tasty are you i don't know pretty good i eat a lot of um you know shitty junk food so, uh, so... <laughs> oh well that's not good yeah that wouldn't be good okay well then maybe not as tasty <laughs> as i think when you when you go tanning out in the summer, you put real butter on yourself. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. No, sometimes, two strikes against you. Sometimes a bit of barbecue sauce, but no. Oh, well, ooh, okay, well. <laughs> is uh, there 
is there a lead up period to this killing slash eating? Like if I if there was a month in advance, could I be like Cameron? eat this for the next month. <laughs> Don't worry about why, just do it. <laughs> uh, I hadn't imagined that you were able to, like, uh, fatten me up or whatever you planned on doing and then kill me. <laughs> it's not okay. like a... It's not like a, a turkey leading up to Thanksgiving or something like that. Okay. Well, because I would probably have a much more difficult time killing and eating my friend Cameron <laughs> who I like a lot thank and you, have known for you. many years I'm glad somebody brought that up that's <laughs> I, nice I think I would somebody finally said that. sooner kill and eat this kind of creepy obsessive uh, cartoon man and plus I mean I'm a bit of a germaphobe as well for sure so I'd like to know that he's clean yeah that's one would thing you... he'd be cleaner than me yeah <laughs> okay that being said would you take on his persona after you killed and ate him I hope not is that how Mr. Clean works <laughs> <laughs> well you said if you eat him you become Mr. Clean <laughs> well you said you were you were a bit of the same in terms of like uh, cleanliness and being a bit of a neat freak would you take it upon yourself is what I'm saying would I become the new Mr. Clean yeah, well, that would be a bad job. I would. <laughs> I'd be pretty popular with the ladies. I would very much like to see you with a bald head <laughs> and that earring. Don't forget about that gold earring. Yeah. Now I know I'm very bad at this question, as I exhibited in the last time we, we talked about it. But if we are equating humans to their food counterparts, which I am, then Cameron Hart, I think, to me, would be a tasty little veal. You put on a plate for me to devour. Now, Mr. Clean, however, seems like he would be nothing but one of those ridiculous fads of a, of a cleanse. A, uh, you know, like a juice cleanse or something like that. He would come He'd in be there. like drinking lemon water or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and that is not what I have on my plate. I'm going Cameron Hart. But would you want to kill Cameron? If you had the option to kill Mr. Clean or Cameron, I think you're you're thinking about this too much as food, man. You, <laughs> have you met him before? Again, you know, Nash. again, as I said last time we talked about this question, I have no problem killing all, any of you. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I am going to vote uh, for myself, not because I would uh, have any problem killing Mr. Clean, but in the other scenario... Uh, there's two of me, there's a clone of me, mm. and fighting a clone of myself to the death or whatever and having to kill it is sort of a dream of mine <laughs> that I would really like <laughs> to do. Oh, yeah. uh, and I, I can't uh, let there be more than one of me, like Highlander, so... Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to go for myself. For real, though, and if we're answering very honestly here, I've never killed a person. I don't have what it takes to kill a person, and I really don't know how to approach that question. It seems like logically, yeah, it would be tougher to kill my friend, but I think it's at such a terribly, terribly high level thing to do, I would have trouble killing anyone at all. And so, yeah, I'll kill Cam. So it's all just moot. Okay, two votes, Cam. One vote, Mr. Clean. Russ? I'm on Mr. Clean. Okay. For... Yes. This is a tough question. Yeah, <laughs> I think we need to modify. Okay. So should I just continue from where I uh, left off? Yeah, sure. sure. 39. All right. So Cameron has a candle for a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I hate... You ever, you you ever like, to, are, you're you eating eat a birthday that? cake and some of the, the wax has melted off onto the... <laughs> frosting and do, you can't tell and you just eat it too i hate that Yeah, i don't think it's gonna matter when you're eating a human corpse <laughs> yeah you're not gonna be bothered about the wax when you're eating what, one of your best what friends. kind of candle is it is it a scented candle uh, some of those scented candles smell pretty good i think it's it's no it's not scented it's your standard kind of red candle that you'd see in an old whoa tiny castle. red can candelabra but, I mean, you do make a valid point. If you're eating the penis of your friend here, I don't want there to have to be any wax that ruins your meal. All right, All right. what's the other what's, one? What's, what's Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean has the world's biggest boob job. That would be delicious. That's silicone. Oh, man. no, wait. You can't eat you're that. right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, you'd die. No, you could eat silicone. I, I don't think I don't so. Know, man. And you'd have to. That's the question. You can't just pick around it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to switch to Cam. I, I know you can... 
eat and digest wax. <laughs> yeah, remember, uh, remember your when, friend's I, dong. when I ate that crayon? That was <laughs> yeah. pure wax. I know. It was your birthday. <laughs> and for some reason, you decided to melt a yellow crayon into your hot corn and then eat it with the rest of your meal. <laughs> and you were fine. So I think you'd be okay. Yeah. Okay, cam for me. Cam for me, because you can eat crayons and corn. And so we uh, we are at our final here. We have Russ versus Cam, oh. two oh. of our oh. tournamental's best players. In Jay's question, that did not make it into a previous tournament, but <laughs> has been a deciding is. factor in this tournament, who would you rather have homeschooling your children? This is tough. Because yeah. they're good friends, and they're right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you guys here. Russ and I, I think we're going to stay pretty quiet, so you guys go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, Jay. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hey. ah, alright, so, I'm on the spot. Uh, yeah, you what? Say, you, how about you say you say Cam, and then I'll say Russ. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Alright, I would go with Russ. With the Cam. <laughs> well, I am cheating. Can I interject and say that I was a teacher for about two years? What you got, Cameron? <laughs> Cam? Cam uh, is soon to be a dad. I, have, I have a, an English degree, and every time I tell someone that I have an English degree, they, they say, oh, are you going to be a teacher? That is true. Mm, yeah, I got one of those too degrees bad. too, man. <laughs> oh, really? Well, just because you were a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, ah. Russ has a lot of Legos, so that would be great for playtime for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but Cam, I don't know. Cam well, and I have built some rafts together and have had a lot of a lot of boyish fun. I think that that would be a good environment for my remember kid. Remember all of those times when I taught you about math and science and reading? And stuff? Remember all those times when I did and the that? only subject you've ever taught me <laughs> is Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, you I taught me at great length because of those books we bought for five cents. I guess as a, a little, I don't know, a background for our listeners who may not know us, Jay has a longer history with Cam, and I have a longer history with Russ. And so this is kind of boiling down to a head here. Russell and I actually have talked about when we have children, and we had a plan whereby we would each discipline the other person's <laughs> children so we would never have to look like the bad guy. So if, if the kid was doing something bad, we'd be like, oh, you're going to have to go over to Uncle Russell's house, and then Russell would deliver spankings to my children. And by, by You would probably need, like, a contract or something written out ahead of <laughs> yeah, time I feel like just in just case probably, anything went awry. I get that in writing, yeah. Right. So all that to say, I mean, we've, we've started making plans to that end already. I feel very comfortable with Russell homeschooling my kids i've i've often um wondered in the future i want to have kids and i've actually considered homeschooling my own children because i don't like the public school system Ooh, yeah this i guess brings me to another point russell has some <laughs> Far out ideas. Not that that is not not that homeschooling is one of your far out ideas, but it reminded me that you sometimes you can be very anti institutional. Okay, well to speak a point for myself, uh, my wife and I are expecting our first child, and therefore I feel like as soon as that kid's born, you just flip a switch where all of a sudden you're pro institution and pro all these things like you just become regular dad guy now i feel like that just has to happen the moment the kid's born so you can expect me to be pretty traditional as far as education and stuff goes i wouldn't probably wouldn't be right now but in, you know a few months from now as soon as that if you had born. to what would be the most important lesson each of you would teach my child always ask why Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> so many horrid things. So many terrible what? things. <laughs> uh, let's 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 say no means no. Oh, <laughs> no means what? Okay. I'm not... Yeah. And that seems like a lesser answer, but my kids are going to need to know that no means not well, just awful to, thing. If I was to judge by thinking. your performance so far on this podcast, yes, your kids are going to need to know that no <laughs> means no. I feel very sheepish right now. No offense to you, Cameron, but I feel like your lesson belongs more in a women's self-defense class <laughs> in homeschooling children. Well, I feel like yours... Uh, 
belongs in some sort of hippie colony. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like this. I think Bertrand Russell would disagree. Yeah, they probably would, because I've read all of Bertrand Russell's books. <laughs> 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 Cameron, things aren't going well. <laughs> Cameron, yeah. what are you currently reading a book, or what was the last book that you read? Okay, good question. Now, this isn't fair. That's not a fair <laughs> question. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, because two books ago, I was reading, like, I read The Count of Monte Cristo, and I read um, Tale of Two Cities and a few others, but the most recent book I've read was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> Mm. And Russell, your book? I'm currently reading a book called um, A Fair Country, Telling Truths About Canada by John Ralston Saul. It's about Aboriginal Canadians and their relationship with, you know, uh, European Canadians. And I how... took a couple of years uh... <laughs> of Canadian social studies, and that sounds like exactly the kind of crap that we... <laughs> that yeah. kind of it's just like, I don't know, we probably read that book. Yeah, you just, there's uh, a lot yeah, of Russell... that in there. You just said the most serious and important thing that's ever been said on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am ready to make my vote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not really. Okay. Then should I give you the, the foremost reason I'm ready to make my vote, which hasn't even been said yet? Yes. Yeah, of course. Well, Cam, you are preparing to be a father, which is wonderful, and, and you'll, uh, you're about to embark on this journey. Huh. Russell has a little brother who was born several years years ago, and he has already been going through that process, and I've been able to watch him do so, and he's uh, he's done a wonderful job with that little guy, and I've seen proof of it already, and so that's why he gets my vote. Ah, boring. If your kid comes to my school, we're going to go play laser tag all day. Oh, laser tag? <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> okay, my vote. Your answer was boring. Laser tag. I'm going to quit my job so I can go to your guy's school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Your kid's going to be working for my kid. <laughs> okay. As long yeah. as it pays the laser you tag will. bills. <laughs> How do you like them apples? I made a reference, guys. Did you Yeah, very good. It? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah home good. run. Thanks, okay, guys. so, are, okay, Cam and Russ, are you guys voting for yourselves? I'm voting for Russ. This sounds great. He sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> Russ? Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've often thought about going back into teaching, so I'm going to vote for myself on this one for sure. So I'm the only one voting for Cam, probably? Because <laughs> somebody said laser tag? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And because that's the only reason, that is also why I'm never voting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back. Yes, you will. I just mean in in schooling my children. Actually, no, oh, you'd yeah. probably be uh, you'd be fantastic at that. But mm. we don't need to give you any compliments because mm. the podcast is now over. Oh, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not supposed to give you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, maybe next week. Yeah, I'll edit that one out. Sorry, Jay. We know it won't be in. Anyway, okay, <laughs> yeah. So way to go, Russ. Russell yeah. has won this tournament. Way Ooh. To be a champion. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't have done it without you guys. That's very true. <laughs> so, thank you everyone for listening. Okay, so we're on Twitter at uh, Tournamental Pod. You can find us on Podbean. Uh, tournamental, no, tournamental.podbean.com. You can find us on Facebook, type in Tournamental, and you can find us on iTunes because we're on there because Apple said do it. And we said yes, sir. <laughs> All right, good show, everybody. Bye, guys. All right. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. Goodbye.